Hey, so here's a quick video on how I did my uh, my steering in my Falcon. So uh, this Falcon is a 63. That front end is heights and it has whatever rack that typically comes with. I think it's T-Bird. I've heard a whole bunch of different things. Anyhow, here's how I did um, the, the, the trickiest part really. So this is a plate that I made to fit the factory opening. And uh, these are just um, cap screws. And on the inside of this plate, I set uh, rib nuts. So there's threaded rib nuts all the way around there. And then I just TIG welded around here. God, this is really dusty. I should probably finish this car. Uh, and then in here, you can see I did a, a bearing that uh, is has the ID of what the shaft is, the, the stock steering shaft. I don't know the number off the top of my head. And then I made this bearing support and it screws in. There's three, you can't see the one down here, but there's three uh, button heads that hold it there. And I milled down two sides on the factory steering uh, column or the, the shaft rather to accept the standard double D. And then that this is standard double D. So basically uh, this dimensions, these dimensions here is what I turned the inside of the factory shaft down to. And then, uh, yeah, the only thing I have to do is Maybe I don't, I thought maybe I had to clearance that, but when it's turned, it does get a little bit closer there. So the only thing I gotta do left is, is probably clearance that, but that's how I did it and it works pretty well. Let me show you the inside real quick. I'm rewiring the car, so it's a mess. But here is the inside, you can see, just that plate and then I, I sunk those rib nuts into it. So everything's kind of going into that and uh, it holds it in there good. That along with the factory mount that's actually not in here right now, uh, it holds everything really, really uh, securely. So anyways, that, that's my take on it. And uh, it seems to work okay. I haven't driven this yet, but I don't foresee any big problems.